What's happening, everyone? What's up, guys? Time for another review. We got the McAllen number no. six Lalique. Epic. Uh, we're gonna be having that in our McAllen Lalique glasses, of course. Of course. Only way to do it. Like, you want to kind of talk about where this little details about this whiskey? Yeah. So basically, in the booklet, in the box, it just says that it's all first fill, sherry seasoned oak casks from a single cooperage in Jerez de la Frontera, Spain. So it does say seasoned, but at least it's all from a single cooperage. It's all first fill and you know, all the other stuff about McAllen, the six pillars, your ginger, dried orange, cinnamon, all that stuff. Yeah, and this is bottled at 43% ABV. Um, it runs, as most of you guys know about Anywhere, depending on where you're looking in the world, we're just going to range anywhere from three to $5,000, you know, it's somewhere in that range. But around where we live, this is about $4,000. Yep. So you're clearly paying for this gorgeous, gorgeous decanter. And this probably is the nicest decanter I've ever seen. I mean, this yeah. is, you know, Lalique just by themselves make decanters that are extremely expensive. And this thing is gorgeous. So, you know, you're obviously paying for premium packaging, premium decanter, the McAllen name, you know, it's it's a prestigious item. This is more, in my, in our opinion, more of you're buying an art piece that's whiskey. So someone might spend $4,000 on a painting on the wall. True. You display this on, on a glass bar like this. It's more of an art piece. Obviously, if the whiskey is good inside too, you know, it becomes something you, you might want if you enjoy displaying something pretty and you like whiskey. We should probably say it's part of McAllen's 1824 series. That's right. Which is uh, the lowest is reflection, right? I think it actually starts with the rare cast, reflection, rare cast, number right. six, and then M. Got it. The top one's M. In our opinion, this little leap decanter is nicer than the M one. Yeah, they're both incredible yeah, decanters. They're, they're both, they're both yeah. like you said, gorgeous art pieces, bar pieces, everything. So right, right, right away, you do get that McAllen characteristic. It, it doesn't hide. It doesn't hide from the burnt orange orange peel uh, with the ginger spice and the caramel and chocolate. That cinnamon, that nutmeg. Yeah, it definitely has that, but it's all very refined. It's all very silky. Um, doesn't have an age statement, but you can kind of get this feeling of hey, there's probably whiskeys around. 15 to 20 years old, coming from very good casks. That would be my guess. I think, didn't you Didn't you read maybe rumors or some research? It was around like 21 year old. Perhaps? That's the first batch like maybe, I, yeah, okay, was the rumored batch. to be, yeah. Average. Yeah, was, was, was pretty much, I believe some 80s vintage and 21 okay. year old whiskey, yeah. And I know batch to batch they vary. I know this because I've tried different batch of this and it tastes completely different. We'll get into that a little bit later. But yeah, this also has just a lot of, it has the dried fruits with the raisins and dates, but it's also got like fresh fruits like apricots and peaches as well. It's got a really nice fruity element to it. It's kind of balanced sultanas and mm. cinnamon spice that you were talking yeah. about. It's very, yeah. very refined. Total orchard party, like you said, yeah, but like almost like like cooked cooked apples, like before they go into apple pie, uh, for sure apricots, peaches, even a little bit of like uh, tropical and citrus elements, like really sweet mandarin oranges, almost like a little tiny bit, like a little essence of mango pineapple, not super strong, but kind of that like that tropical coating over the fruit. A little bit of cedar wood mm. coming from the from those good casts. Yeah. It's a really nice interplay of the fruit and the oak, for sure. Like, you know, first fill, season sherry oak cask, but definitely not too oaky whatsoever. And like a nice, well-aged uh, cigar, but not the tobacco, just kind of the wrapper. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, just kind of the, the dried leaf, yeah. It's nice. It's very nice, it's not ultra complex i don't think it's meant to be no. ultra complex i don't think it's meant for that whiskey drinker it's it is a luxury item it is meant 
for that person who, who wants that luxury item and wants something quality, but perhaps easy to drink as well. Um, and if you're, if you're showing this on your fancy bar, you're going to want to impress guests with it too. Of course. It's definitely got, got that nature to it. Very nice. On the palate? Let's do it. I mean, guests who might not crave like cask strength. Of course. Whiskey, you know? Of course. Kind of one in the, in the middle. Of course. Usually, usually the decanter fancy bottlings are usually, usually meant for that. Right. Yeah. Bingo. On the palate. Do it. Different last one. I'm afraid of the palate though. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. This uh um, that's delicious. Oh, the been. best <laughs> thing I can say about the palate is it was you don't want to swallow. You oh, just you no. just want to keep it because right away when it hits, it's, nice. it's silky and velvety. You really, really like it. And as you're kind of rolling it on your tongue, you're getting like sweet caramels and chocolates. Oh yeah, dude. And then as you kind of swallow, you get that. You get that spice, but it's not typically in current McAllen. I get a lot of like pencil shaving and then just kind of ginger spice. This is kind of like sultanas and cinnamon spice and, and, and those dates and figs and rum raisins all kind of done in kind of the next level kind of way. Really, really delicious. Leaves you with that high quality dark chocolate. Um, not so, and the nose it was a little fruitier. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say I'm getting those fresh fruits, mm -hmm. um, but it's just luxurious, silky, um, and you're definitely getting the dried fruits along with that spice. The spice level is just very enjoyable, very, very, very enjoyable, and it's a cask. It's a cask thing. Yeah. I'm gonna say yeah. It's so oak driven on the palate. That wood spice. It's like nutmeg and clove and allspice, tiny bit of like anise root. It's definitely exotic spice driven. Delicious. Yeah, definitely less fruits than on the nose, but more of just like, like the more typical sherry elements like dark chocolate, definitely some orange, uh, sultanas, fig, dates, luscious. Like, yeah, you do not want to swallow. So drinkable. One more sip. We're not going to add any water to this. It's 43%. Yeah. So you just, you just know me. Yeah, so that's what it is, right? It's 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 modern sherry season. So you're not gonna get that old school danky like maybe Paxaret type stuff, but the casks are top quality mm -hmm. for today. Mm -hmm. You definitely get that. In. It's incredible. Like top bodega. It's really enjoyable. I think mm. the best way I can describe this is mm -hmm. this is what I expect. When I'm paying $300 for like the current McAllen 18, mm -hmm. because the old McAllen 18s were so good, this is oh what I God. expect in the current bottling of a McAllen 18. Yes. Again, $4,000 bottle, $300 bottle, I know. It's the decanter and the marketing and the whole fancy schmancy. But in terms of liquid, this is what I expect when I'm buying that. Yes. Um, it's, not, it's not what I'm getting, you know. Uh, the current McAllen 18 is very, very different. This. This, the oak spice, the sandalwood, the cedar, it's got a little bit of musk, a little bit of leather showing a little bit of age. Yeah. Um, and it leaves you lingering with quite a bit of a decent finish. Musk, you nailed it, dude. Like, it, it's very perfumey, like it could be yeah. a cologne. Yeah. And no, like, like, exactly like you said, for 43%, very impressive finish. Very, for 43%, very impressive finish. Wow. Because it keeps that, it keeps that, silky mouthfeel for let's say your high-end rich guy who wants to buy a fancy decanter but it's not really a whiskey drinker right. but it leaves you with that high quality like wood spice and dried fruits for the actual you know the the, the serious drinker as yes. well so it, it, it does kind of take care of both not on a four thousand dollar level no. but 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 again i was just saying this is what i expect from a three hundred dollar mccallan right in terms of liquid. Yeah. yeah definitely more Closer to the nature of this juice. Yeah. Say what you wanted the McAllen 18 currently offering. Exactly. You know, I had a decent wow. pour, like a full ounce pour. Normally I'd spend more time with it, but it's like 
the finish is uh, it, it's medium long it's not long but it, it, it leaves you saying please some more please some more please some more it's one of those yeah. where you can pour yourself a two ounce Ooh, dram yeah. and kind of keep wanting more delicious. Uh, delicious very enjoyable medium long medium-ish long it's not a long it's kind of above slightly above medium um yeah medium medium <laughs> but it's, it's like really good like half point scores yeah 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 they're on the lower side yeah yeah, yeah. be cautious yeah um, medium. but no it's it's it's, it's really good it's if, uh, if i'm gonna score score this whiskey it's it's an, I'm going to give it a 91. For the first time I had it um, out of this particular bottle, it was definitely a 91, uh, approaching almost a 92. Yeah. But this time having it, it's kind of like a nine between a 90 and a 91. So, so just kind of like averaging it in. Um, I'm comfortable giving it a 91. It's really enjoyable. Again, you don't buy this. You know, normally if you spend four thousand dollars on a whiskey, you're expecting a 94, 95. Yeah. You're not. You're not. Ex you know. But again, knowing. The beauty of it, displaying it on the bar, art piece, you combine all that. It's just really fun, fun to own. Gorgeous. Um, and the whiskey is very good. Yeah. I had the, I was going to still admit, the exact same experience. Like, the first time we had it, it was the, like, the tropical fruits were more, like, explosive yeah. coming out. Now it's kind of more hints, like, kind of coating the more typical, like, first or second fill sherry, like, orchard and dried fruits. So because of that average out, 91. So Bingo. I do want to share, in case you're thinking of buying one, mm. I, I do want to bring up, I had one of the, mm. um, I was at, a, at an event, at a tasting. It was the craziest tasting I think I've ever been to. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> you know, there was probably yeah. half a million dollars worth of wine and whiskey opened. Um, I was lucky enough to be a part of it. But point being is I had one of the earliest batches of the number six Lilik. And it was completely different. It was extremely thick, thick, heavy, resinous sherry. Mm -hmm. Kind of going more towards the old school style, mm -hmm. but it was almost approaching too much, where it was so oaky. And I enjoy an oaky whiskey, but it was really oaky. It was really dry, mm -hmm. and it just kind of left you with that extreme amount. It's kind of like the McAllen... 10 cask strength, the ones we really like, yeah. kind of brought down in ABV, more age and more oak. Got it. So it was more along that style. I'd actually love to try it again because I had it in an event setting where I'd had a lot of other stuff as well. So it was hard to fully analyze it, yeah. uh, but they are completely different. This one's a little fruitier, much lighter. Um, it tastes perhaps a little younger. Um, so batch variation is something to think about. It's very annoying. Especially if you try whiskey like this, and let's say you love it, and you want to buy one and expect the same. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I don't know how they're doing it. Um, I do know that McAllen has changed a lot of master distillers, like, a lot lately. A lot lately. Yeah, so, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. From my understanding, the whiskey makers that make, like, the McAllen M team is the McAllen M team still. And the team for number six is still the team for number six. I don't know. I can't, I, I don't know for a fact. All I know is for a fact that they were very different. Both very good, but just different. How many releases a year? Just one or a couple? Again, great question. I don't know how, they, how it works. No, I, because I, I, the I, M, M is one. M now has the vintage yeah. 2018. It didn't before. So they started uh, that with the 2017. Got it. So 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020, they do that with now. Got with this it. guy, they don't. Yeah, so. So it's hard to know. It's hard to know. But there is variation. Uh, again. It's very good regardless, but it's very different. Yeah. It's very, very different. It's not a joke when you're spending that, that amount of money. True that. Anyways, fancy bottle, fancy review. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Would love to hear your comments if you guys have tried this wonderful whiskey. We'll see you soon for many more reviews. Cheers. Cheers, guys.